the Wacky Warp Morning Zoo crew. My name is Sean. My name is Matt. <laughs> I'm, I'm Jake. Are we not doing it yet? And I'm the hippo Felice. No, no, no. You guys didn't understand the 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 mission. You didn't understand the brief. We're doing it I didn't later? say we were going to do it as the intro. I said we were going to talk about it later. I was giving you time to think about what uh, I know what I am. I was going to I didn't want to be the hippo anyway. Fuck. I didn't want you to do it right now. Oh, I wanted to uh, start the show like a normal show and then we can talk about our zoo crew personas once okay. we get to the actual All right. Take All right. 2. Do it. Take 2. Go ahead. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Warp, the completely unnecessary Star Trek podcast where we do unasked for audio commentaries, Star Trek episodes. My name is Sean. It's Matt. I'm Jake. Lee. The box. <laughs> I'm the maniacal <laughs> masturbator. <laughs> I'm <Emmy>. Yay. <laughs> so some of the people did it. <laughs> and some of the people. Yeah, you know. We're paying attention, so that's fine. It's really I like I like the box. (laughs) Yeah, was the box? That was Aaron. (laughs) Aaron, you mean it's the box? The box? Yeah, the box. box. Did Min? Did Min say that he was the maniacal masturbator? Is that what he said? That is what. Uh, That is what he said. Yep. You caught that? Huh? All over your back? Yeah. (laughs) Oh, he does it again. All so right, this is going to be a recurring. This is going to be a recurring bit now, is it? Yeah. <laughs> so the maniacal so Min, masturbator will show up and Min, come right back. Min at broke you. the rules two ways because <laughs> a he did the wacky opening and also he didn't follow the that he should just be a noun by itself. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> that is he a noun. Used, he used an adjective and yeah. a noun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a way full to follow noun. the rules, man. Yeah. yeah. I'll break the rules like I'm breaking my penis over your face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ow. I'm not sure no. you're like a, that's Ooh. like a, you're like a, a professional wrestler. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm the maniacal masturbator and I'll break my penis over your face. <laughs> Let's punch that triangle. You're like that guy in Silence of the Lambs who throws his thumb <laughs> on yeah. Jodie Foster's face. Like, you're Mix. Mix. <laughs> yeah. Do you know his name? I just watched it the other day. Oh, I just rewatched it. Yeah. yeah it's it holds up. Min, Min's penis is also brittle like a porcelain vase. <laughs> <laughs> Ming Dynasty, right. that's why they call me. What are we doing oh, here, that was a Ming Let's Dynasty watch joke. The show. I just got <laughs> okay, what's the show we're watching? So we're watching Star Trek again, season one, episode sixteen. When the bow breaks, again. I got forty-five minutes. Well, it's we're we're, we're, we're always watching <laughs> forty-five minutes and forty-six seconds on the clock, and I'm punching the triangle in three, two, one, punch. Oh, there it goes. Hi, Poppy. Right. I don't know <laughs> who's that person. Too fast. Oh, I forgot to push the train. Oh, God damn. Now <laughs> we're five seconds behind. Start over, guys. Just kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Can we get more okay. of your Tommy Wiseau uh, impression, Aaron? <laughs> I don't know. I can't do things on the spot. Uh, uh, be- yeah. You and Philippe. God damn it. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. You and Philippe, yeah. your, your impressions are <laughs> like emotional. <laughs> They're emotion based. Like, yeah. you can't do them if you're not like in the, in the moment. It. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I thought, we got last, a very, I thought we got a very. Last week, I'm not a machine. Episode. Yeah, I was gonna say I was hoping that Ira Glass would show up more often. Yeah, now that, was... that we know he's an option. <laughs> we get yeah, swagger into this, uh, into that. I know he kind of got a little twist to his hips, didn't he? Yeah. Well, yeah, he got, he got, that. he's limping. He's limping because the kid okay. knocked him in the balls. Oh. oh, I thought he was like being all sexy. Hmm. It got I him in the too, because it was really working oh, no. for me. Yeah, I was it into ran it. into his leg. The kid <laughs> ran into his leg, so he's hurt. That's that's the claim as to why he's limping. Well, Riker's got a big groin area for him. Yeah, it yeah. wraps all the way around. Yep. Yeah. yeah, Riker's got a big dick. You can <laughs> yeah. say it. He's got that T. He does. He's got he's big got balls big too. I know he's got big balls. Hairy balls. Yeah. It's important. 
like a, like a real like, than thick sack too. It's like your giant balls. I'll let you know. Like small yeah. pants. <laughs> I, I I blame myself. I blame the the maniacal masturbator. Yeah. This is what the conversation has devolved to because of that introduction. I'm sorry, guys. I I, I sincerely apologize. It's Do you want fault. me to cut your hair like? This? <laughs> I want me to cut me. I almost have the top yes. VR going yeah. right now. Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. I want you to give me like a wharf cut. <laughs> yes. Do you, and do you think that uh, a a large penis and large balls always go together? Or do you think that there are people out there with <laughs> very, very large penises, but very there's tiny balls? only ball. one way ball. to find out. I or very huge yeah. balls, yeah. but a very small penis. It's we have to look at every place. man. <laughs> yeah. You know how last time you sent through a lot of pictures of like the Hemsworth? I think yeah. you need to send through some stuff, Matt, to look for us to decide. I mean, I don't want to get on the list. Oh, well, you know? all we got to do is look through that deck of cards. and. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I was going to say dick pics must be like one in a mil- million. No, wait. It must be a dime a dozen. Yeah. One of those. Yeah. That's yeah. the one you were looking for. But they're for. very different, so... Yeah. <laughs> they're ex- they're opposites of each other, actually. Yeah, you could say. <laughs> Just like a big dick and small balls, right? <laughs> or is that a controversial statement? <laughs> Vice versa. This, today, I like those I don't go know together. Is considered. Do you think Picard <laughs> is hairy down there? <clears throat> Based on my somewhat, uh, somewhat knowledgeable... What? ...experience with... Uh, gay pornography. Oh, okay. Usually they have, usually the dick and the balls are uh, commensurate. Commensurate. <laughs> <laughs> I love that word. Oh, big and big, small and small? Yeah, you know, they go together like peanut butter and jelly. Jelly, yeah. yeah. But there but are some, but you know that there sometimes are Sometimes you see a big dick with a, with small balls. But mm-hmm. I've never seen big balls, no small dick. But that's only because my sample size is pornography. Yeah. So small that's dick, a, big balls sure. guy is not yeah. going to get hired. For yeah, there's a bias. Right, yeah. right. That's why those playing cards are no good. Those, those people have been selected. <laughs> they've they've been chosen. Yeah, they're yeah. not they're, yeah. they're not an accurate sample size. But they were all chosen for their hair, so it's okay. No, 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 no. There were some that were hairless. Ish, weren't there? I'm talking yeah. about their their their, their, their head junk. hair. Their head uh-huh. hair, not the first hair you think of. Wait, wait, which head? <laughs> the primary the head, head hair. The... Head hair. Yeah. Not their pubes. Oh, okay. What are we doing here, Sean? <laughs> Star Trek: The Next Generation, <laughs> Season One, Episode Sixteen. Is when the bow breaks, doing? February thirteenth, nineteen eighty-eight, just around Valentine's Day. A planet that was able to cloak itself for thousands of years suddenly reveals itself with its inhabitants proposing peace. But after no- initial negotiations, children of the Enterprise are kidnapped due to the infertility of the inhabitants. Oh. Hmm. Ooh, Brenda Aaron, what do you think the IMDb rating of this episode is? Uh, 6.4. Oof. 6.4 on the wow, money. Right on the money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad when I don't have to guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too. Because that's what I would have guessed. Can you do I that more often? I would a higher number know? because I actually like I was like, thing. higher than last time. Ooh, wow. Hey, Aaron, do you recognize that lady? Her name is Brenda Strong. On the screen? Yeah. She's the woman yeah. you're going to yeah. see on the screen. I do. I Why oh, you're here. a few minutes. You're a few seconds behind us, aren't you? She's very Maybe. young in this episode. But Shit. do you recognize her from another I, show that I guess I suspect you probably watched? Come on. Come I could on. be wrong. Shit, she's very familiar. I do, but I can't remember what show she was on. Did you Give watch me a clue. Did you, uh, Terry Hatcher was on the show? Oh, that this woman- Desperate Housewives? Yes. yes. Yeah, I do recognize her. I she did was- watch Desperate Housewives. She was she the was one the, that they were worried about, right? She was right? the murder victim. Yeah. And that, she's, she was like That's the narrator yeah, who I was, was in always. That show for a while. Yeah, I was too, for the, like the first couple of years. Two, uh, like she's got some cinched pants. 
<laughs> she's yeah. but I haven't seen it since then, so I kind of forgot where yeah. she was from. But I knew, I knew I knew her. She's she's, 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 she's one, one of like those three nineties funk going on. She's one of those people who's been in a oh, thousand TV shows. She's yeah. like from a Living Color video or in Living Color. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously. You think she would be a fly girl? The uh, and the actor, the he's I mean, he was on X Files. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's... He was the he was uh, Deep Throat on X Files. Oh, okay. yeah. he's equally hot. Talk about that. Nope. I only watched X Files sporadically. I wasn't. I didn't take a deep dive with that one. Now that's I an forget excellent the word sporadically. <laughs> yeah. It's like the mutual masturbator. It's spermatically. Yeah. Spermatically. Mm-hmm. spermatically. Yeah. What? People will teleport in there. Like Sean, it. you'll recognize you'll recognize Brenda Strong because she was on Twin Peaks. Yes. Yeah, I small, know her from that as in well. In a very small supporting all. Like well, not actually at all. I I remember her from Sports Night. I don't know if anybody oh, else watched Sports yeah, Night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she, was she was the she was the hot producer that Felicity Huffman hated. Mm. Yeah, yeah. She did like the weekend edition of the show or something. The like the that. late night, the late night one, yeah, uh-huh. the two o'clock version. Yeah, and she was always Peter, trying to take. She was always trying yes. to kind of take over Felicity's job. Well, right? she was hot for what Peter, what's his name? The Brett O'Toole. No, yeah, Peter <laughs> O'Toole. Yes, I'm exactly. hot for Peter O'Toole. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Yeah. They're shining a light oh. on it. I don't Jesus. know. Jesus, it's there's a, a black light. They're looking for this is a severely <laughs> heavy well Will Wheaton episode. Uh, they're looking for young people. Yeah, but they're going to yeah. do a pube check, right? And if he does, if his yeah. pubes are too long, so is that why <laughs> Harry's introduced at the beginning? Yeah, he's on the chopping block. Damn it! Wait. Yep. I hate it she when guys, they introduce character it. only to yeah put put a pube check. <laughs> pube check. <laughs> Sorry, I got <laughs> hung up. I got hung up on that phrase for a second. Yeah, yeah, no. When you uh, guys were going through puberty, do you did as you men remember? Will say, it? It's a mouthful <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> ask ask your question. question. Ask your question, men. Do you remember if your pubes like had an explosive spurt of growth as well going through puberty? I don't actually. Yeah. I don't. I can remember. honestly say I don't ever remember. Not having, I know I didn't, but I can't remember a time <laughs> no, when I yeah. didn't have. No, them. he came out of the of shoot uh-huh. with pubes. Yeah, <laughs> he came out of that. He grabbed a handful on his way out and just said, "I'll keep these." <laughs> Taking these with me. Yeah. These will come in handy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I didn't say it was a reasonable or I just said it the way I, I honestly can't remember. There's probably something comforting about like cuddling with a somewhat hairy per- baby. Baby. <laughs> yeah, like grown baby with full baby. pubes. That would be so comforting. <laughs> just to like have that baby. It's, like, like, yeah, it's like haven't you ever haven't that, you like... ever slept with a dog? Like uh, it's it's really it's really <laughs> I haven't. I've only slept with children with full pubes, but I, I've heard they're similar. Please, please tell me you did not just compare a, a uh, woman, a human woman, with some hair on her body to a dog. No, because I meant like we're Sean. Going be, we're going to be canceled like yeah. immediate. No, no, no. I was trying to compare Sean to a dog. So it must be. Comfort. Oh well, thank you so yeah. much. I appreciate well, that. No, I'm saying it's probably I'm really feeling the kind of things that men will say when I'm not in the same room as him because uh-huh. he knows I can't beat his ass now. I'm just. Nah, saying. we're all. Why is there a giant plant over there on the chair before behind what? Riker? Did you guys see that? It was a big old. No, plant. no. I didn't. Oh, they're taking the kids. 
They're an advanced yeah. society. Ours is not the question. Sean is They're not a people. Sean is a person of peace. Sean would not beat men. Just carrying <laughs> uh, <laughs> him. kid? All the kids? Oh man, not all of them. Just was a that a tribble? Few. Yeah, it's just yeah like she it. has some kind of tribble. Jesus. So what <laughs> play in there, okay. but... there, there are no tribbles there in. You can relax. It's a special sterilized tribble. Are there any black kids on this boat? <laughs> nope. Not really. all. They just they just took all the Karens. <laughs> <laughs> Karens and Chads. Up to yeah, the Karens and Chads. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all the Karens and Chads have been taken. Uh well. Well, we should probably just go back to Starfleet and <laughs> think about regroup. Regroup. Let's not be hasty. Philippe. Yes. <laughs> How would you rank the individual snacks that come in a bag of Chex Mix? Oh, I'm. There is a right answer. There is a right answer, and I, I know, I, I, I know have an answer. I know, I go against the grain on this one because I know that myself and Aaron disagree, but it works out because then we like different snacks. Because it's I like Chex Frat. Yeah, because I actually like the checks. I know it's unusual, but I actually enjoy the checks the most. I like okay. the bagel chips. They go yeah. first. The yes, the that's, the rye the cracker is the is the correct first. Yeah, yeah, that's I've I've heard that my entire marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm a fan of the checks. Like, I like I, it when I bring up a subject and it turns out you guys are like, yeah, we did that one already. <laughs> <laughs> We've been married a thousand years. There's nothing we haven't talked about. <laughs> but I like that you're bringing it up because it is an important question. But it was, uh, yeah, because we she mentioned that she likes the I like the the soaked bagel chip things because they're yeah, like the brown like, and rye bigger. crackers yeah, yeah. yeah. What are, what's, the, what's that other brand not checks but like G- Gr- Gramati's or like there, oh, yeah. there were in vending machines at UCLA Gardettos. Gardettos? Gardettos yeah I think it's Gardetto yeah. yeah yeah I like those too yeah. they make the mustard the mustard pretzel ones mm-hmm. I like the mustard yeah pretzel. anybody else want to chime in on Chex Mix does anybody else disagree that the rye cracker is the best part of the I've, Chex Mix? I'm 100% on board with that I do like the checks. Yeah. I, I'm yes, I'm, uh, yes. I, I think that the corn the checks, the, the corn uh, checks is number two. <laughs> number two. Corn checks is number two. Aren't there also peanuts in the mix? Not in the standard bag of checks mm. mix. They I'll, make check mix peanuts, yeah, but I'll, not the. Right I'll, I'll restate the the sentiment that I said on <laughs> in reply to your original tweet, <laughs> which was I do favor the chip, the rye chip, yep. Yep. but. Everything else gets crammed down my craw. Yeah, it's all good. Time. Yeah, yeah agreed. It it forms like a, everything it, it's like chip a rye chip matter. chaser. It's a good yeah. mix. The the mix it's rye good chip mix. is too strong flavored for me. Like I, I want to cut it oh, with. That's good about it. Oh. Yeah, that's the thing. It's just too much. Like I want, I want, I need. To me, the staple, the the binding factor is the Chex mix. To me, the Chex. <laughs> It's you know, why they call it chip, mix. It's because the chip has the most like surface Crunch. area to dust. So yeah. you get more like dust when you eat a ch- right. chip. Right. It's, it's, it's like it's, it's, soaked in like Worcestershire sauce or something. <laughs> yeah, it's it like, is. Yummy. It's, it's very if Worcestershire. Is, if the chip is too much for you, you need to eat one of the mini breadsticks at the same time to cut it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just need to eat a little bit of it and have like three he checks with it. He just needs to give them all to me. Yeah, that's what Red I do. This is the secret to the our thousand year marriage. Taste like anything, exactly. It's it's just a bland starch to like. They're, they are the seasoning. they are the C average. Yeah, of yeah. checks man. They're but they're important bad. for the balance. They're important for the balance. What's important to have the the the, the bread breadstick stick. or the pretzel? Yeah. Uh, they are just sort of filler. The pretzel here's how it, over the here's breadstick. how it goes. It goes rye crackers, <laughs> corn checks, <laughs> mm-hmm. square pretzel, breadstick, wheat checks, and then mm. circle pretzel. I actually like the wheat checks more because they're also soak up the. They are 
Where it's just their... They have a weird flavor. I don't like. I didn't think we would get into such an in-depth conversation about. Yeah, it. I feel like snakes. I feel like to me the wheat checks and the brown and the cracker are on the same level. I know it's heresy. They have they take on a similar flavor. Yeah, it's like too much. And that's what I like about them. <laughs> yeah. And here's an even here's something that's even more sacrilegious in our household. I actually like the sweet and oh, salty checks blend. I the get most. so pissed when he brings that home and not anything else because yeah. I'm like, what is? It's like bread and butter pickles. Yeah. Why? Yeah. We Why? have we have some different. Sean's going to agree with me on this because Sean doesn't like nuts in his chocolate, so he doesn't like sweet and salty. Oh, I bet man. he agrees. That's Snickers. You don't face. like Snickers. No, we've had no. this conversation a hundred times. Snickers are the worst. Why would you ruin a perfectly good candy bar by sticking peanuts like in there? Oh my god, peanuts are amazing. Ugh, I just thought to see this. Peanuts are amazing on their own. They have no business in a piece of chocolate. Nah, I don't know. Snickers is one of the most popular candy bars in the world. So well, a lot of people are voted for President Trump, you know? <laughs> Shut people up. Off. Hey, Shut up. Wow. Trump hasn't wow. lasted as many years as a Snickers bar. But yeah, you might. So there you go. <laughs> so I guess a payday bar is off the table. Sometimes a lot of people make a lot of bad choices. I can't oh, I that. know. Yeah, that's true. We're it's living popularity, it isn't it? Right now. People want to like a Snickers. They can... Hey, you know what? People like what they like. It doesn't yeah. bother me that people like yeah. Snickers. They're just not I'm, for me. I haven't asked for Snickers to be removed from the planet. I'm not trying to I kill Snickers. Like that. no, that's good. <laughs> but I mean, I don't, I mean, I get it. But, and then, you know, I mean, I think somebody here right mentioned that their favorite candy bar was the Three Musketeers. Or like, I'm like, that's dude, that me. thing. Yeah. I just cannot. I just, that texture needs like a crunch to me. And yeah. I'm like, no. you, I like what I like, the, like, what I like about it is that it, 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 it it's almost like eating nothing. Like it just vanishes, it's like yeah. cotton candy. As soon as yeah. you bite into it, well, I hate cotton candy too because it's the same reason. <laughs> it's it's the I like I like to have a little bite. Yeah. Do you like? I just curious. Do you like stuff in your ice cream? Like if it's not chocolatey, like a like a nut or a... I like. Yeah. Well, I, Rocky favorite, Road. No, I don't really like nuts in my ice cream either. Oh, I don't no. like nuts and and sweet combined. I don't like salt and sweet. I'm with Aaron. I wouldn't like it if you, if you brought home the salty and sweet Chex Mix, you'd have to go back. <laughs> what about that's what it's been? That's that's what I've looked at. And here's the thing that I think that is annoying is sometimes I'll bring home that <laughs> one and the other one, and I she's still get mad. she still gets mad. <laughs> I brought home one for her, and then she's like, "You," and then you wasted this three dollars on this one, which. <laughs> I was like, no, because I enjoy this one. And she's just like, and you know what I'm happens? Like, Why is this in my house? Yeah, because what will happen is she'll accidentally grab it and eat it. And then she'll just be like all pissed. And I'm like, mm. you ate your Chex Mix so fast. That's what happened. <laughs> OK, you know what, Aaron? I, I think I'm. I'm coming down on Philippe's side on this one. Right? Damn it. <laughs> what? I think that one for him and one for you is a pretty, mm -hmm. I mean, it's literally <laughs> a 50 50 like division, yeah. which seems pretty fair. And yeah. he's not responsible if you grab the wrong bag. Like, that's <laughs> not you. What? I got some. I, see? I'm not crazy. I'm <laughs> seething over here. <laughs> she also doesn't really like if I go off the flavor. Unless he intentionally. If he intentionally swapped the bags so that mm -hmm. you, he knew you would grab the wrong one, then that would prove yeah. intent. Yeah. Uh, but they, but you just to eat, totally accident, accidentally yeah. grabbing the wrong one, I don't <laughs> see that's his fault. She's just against them existing, and then she's against that, you know. That wow. It, yeah. Yeah, no justice, no peace. Right now, I'm feeling really... You're really feeling, like, yeah. encircled? <laughs> Honor, I'd like to approach the board. Uh, I would like to argue Francis. that uh, Aaron should be able to do what the fuck she wants, <laughs> and um, anyone who nice doesn't adhere to that should just like you. know that that's on them. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Got all Jerry Springer up in here. I like it. You're here. Uh, I agree with the concept that everyone should do what they want. But that includes 
uh, the leap. Being, leap, being able to bring home a bag of sweet, salty Chex Mix. No, I think he should have to eat that secretly in the car on the way in. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, Philippe, Philippe, maybe you could put it somewhere like away from the other Chex Mix so that there is no way that she could accidentally grab uh, the wrong <laughs> Here's pack. what happens. I bring her those Chex Mix. She eats those Chex Mix. I put the other one somewhere innocuously in the kitchen. She goes for a grab without looking closely and then gets all mad and has the and whole... And I spit it out on the floor. Yeah, and then she has the whole conversation <laughs> about how those check and why did you get these check mix? And I'm like... Wow, the... I want you to film this next time this happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I just, you know... I really want to see it. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just get judged. I get judged when it's yeah. like when we're on a road trip and I buy oh. like three things that she wants and I buy my sweet Chex Mix. I still get the look. <laughs> I still get the look. But you're still married. Fortunate. <laughs> well, I know what I'm bringing the next time we all meet together. <laughs> well, which one are you bringing? Chex-Mix. Are we buddies? Are we I'm lifelong not, buddies? Not bringing, no, he's coming to stir the pot. What he's coming to do. You can bring the singing, the sweet and salty ones for me. Only. Only. Yeah. There you go. I'm uh, I'm not comfortable choosing a side, so I'm gonna bring one bag of each. Uh, you're just gonna be in the same boat. I'm in. I just hey, I'm just these googles for I'm for just Aaron, trying, so I'm just trying, trying to there. appease the gods. You she's know? Like, like she's like that bag is treason, and any amount of treason is treason. Like yeah, it doesn't matter true. if you're like partially helping out. You know. Well, part- don't even get me started on boba. No, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh really? Eric mm. Boba more than anything. I'm with John Boba. Well, she's right about that I one. Side, <laughs> I side with Eric on Boba. What? You guys don't like Boba? Nobody likes Boba? No. Uh, this, this court ch- rules in favor <laughs> of Aaron. Thank God. On the matter Mitch, of where are you at? Yeah, yeah. Time. Boba's cool. Yeah, because the la- the one I like in my drinks are little balls of yogurt <laughs> popping in my exactly. mouth. That's what I, I always ask gross. for. What's when I want to drink that? something. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't enjoy a just gelatinous glob flying into your mouth? I get so <laughs> Gelatinous excited. is actually a big part of uh, Asian uh, dessert, you know, yeah, sort of like cuisine. Uh, yeah, well, generally Asian desserts I'm not suck, some so it's not a good... <laughs> uh, Those are uh, one of the few ones I think is acceptable. I'm not, like, craving boba, but I don't think it's terrible. And I enjoy occasional boba, but it's like the end of the world for certain people. <laughs> yeah. And I suppose beverages. you did. <laughs> beverages. I a straw. Remember? Yeah. I found a straw in the drawer and I gave you the look. Like, what? <laughs> it was a thick straw. And so she was like <laughs> suspicious that somehow Boba had entered into the quarantine zone. <laughs> And I was like, I was like giving him a hard time. Yeah, I'm like, there happens to be a random star that <laughs> straw. It's for filching. Don't worry. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's not for boba. Which oh, is oh man, where Good boba times. got its start, by the way. Well, look, yeah. beverages shouldn't be chewy, and that's all there is to it. Boba drinks are crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Beverages the, aren't the chewy. Lesson. I feel like we're alienating uh, I, a couple billion being, people. I mean, really enjoying being the judge of the podcast. <laughs> yeah. This is a fun new position of power yeah. for me. Are Have you, you going to ha- rule on this episode whether it's okay to steal these children, uh, well, even though they're just trying to give them a really good life? Haven't you had fruit cocktail, Matt? Yeah. Boba is not the the... The co- the texture of fruit cocktail. Fruit yeah. cocktail is chewier. Lychee suspended in liquid. <laughs> it's not the same thing at all. It's also Man. not a drink. Fruit Man. cocktail, you don't drink through a it's straw. Not a, it's not a cocktail, man. Well, what about like a soup with like a creamy <laughs> mushroom soup or something? Again, like. you don't drink it with a straw. You could. Good. Big soup with a straw. Well, so if you ate boba with a spoon, you'd be fine. <laughs> Spoon it up. No, that's not a good comparison either, because 
all mu- cream of mushroom soup is pretty much a consistent. Yeah, it's got texture. chunks of mushroom. Yeah, but how not about really. any other? How about any other soup with like a yeah. vegetable, like a carrot minestrone. or a I thing, think like this minestrone? Is a, really, a ridiculous comparison. Why? It is a ridiculous comparison because you yeah. don't drink them the same way. Yeah. But you could. That's just that's just mechanics. Well, that's just social be- etiquette. Okay. A, a, a boba is a cold drink. Am I wrong? You don't drink it hot, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. So you suck it up like you would suck up a milkshake. Yeah. And then every the straw, once in a while you get balls a of goo up blow up in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> soup you drink you step slowly with a spoon yeah. and it's, it's savory a... i think that uh, makes you, it you also like how... also you know what you're getting with soup like you <laughs> never know when you suck through that straw you never know if one yeah. of those Whether blobs gonna is gonna come shooting into you your mouth or you not. don't know by the tension in the straw like you don't <laughs> is it a complete surprise? how dare you <laughs> yeah comes up it's like it's not that <laughs> hard to tell yeah. there's a different uh sort of suction factor yeah you, know, you guys can walk it. right the tension of my straw is none of your business sir. <laughs> 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 i'm i'm making it my business yeah <laughs> Uh oh, Simon. Anyway, fell down. I'm sorry. It's not soup, and it's gross. End of end of story. <laughs> Do you Jake, not like... where do you stand on this? You hate you hate boba too. <laughs> I haven't heard any. At the beginning of this, I thought, oh, boba's okay. I could, you know, if somebody offered me a free boba, I'd be fine. <laughs> but now I'm <laughs> I'm not so into it anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't... that's because I painted a fucking word picture. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you you laid a strong case, man. I still like Boba. It's not my favorite, but I don't have any problem with it. Sure. Yeah. Does anybody know what's actually happening? Why did they? What's happening with these? This old man and this little girl. Well, they're hooking up. (laughs) (laughs) They're playing strip, Simon. Um, (laughs) Yeah. Did you ever see Demolition Man? Yeah. The way they have sex in that movie. Oh, my oh it's the it's the seashells. Oh no, that's how they go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like diodes hooked up to their heads or something. Which anyway. movie? See the... Oh, this guy seems a little creepy. You see that that guy, that actor plays the guy in Last Starfighter with the what? electronic monocle. Oh, really? He's wow. Really. He looks really different without. He looks all a lot makeup. younger than I thought. A monocle can really make you look older. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That monocle aged him badly. <laughs> really correct. That's a real creepy neck touch, though. I don't so know are all it. the? Yeah, I don't like <laughs> the way these bit. people are obsessed with children. Like yeah. it's creeping me out a little bit. There's a lot of close, sp- no space given, and uh, are the lingering kids happy to be there, Sean? They've been watching. Mm, they miss their parents, but they're getting to do the artistic things that they like doing. So, like the one kid who, at the beginning of the episode, that kid was running away because his dad wanted him, was forcing him to take calculus. Because uh-huh. why ten year olds <laughs> taking calculus? I'm not quite sure, but we can move on from there. And, but what and you're so saying there, me... he's go ahead. Is he's getting to do? Car, he's getting to carve Nothing. stuff out of wood and he's real artistic he likes doing art so he's getting to do what he likes doing so but at the same time they miss their parents is sort of a but they 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 miss their parents like in quotes yes. or like are they like oh no, my no, god they we've actually, been kidnapped we've been they, kidnapped. they sort of that are is- yes. it's sort of a, in between that like they're they're not being treated poorly, so they're they're not, you know, screaming or anything. But they also are sad that they they didn't they're not they've been taken from their parents. So sounds like some Hansel and Gretel shit here. Look at him. Uh. Uh, Matt, do you not like Nutella? Because that's a uh, nuts and chocolate right there. Yeah. There's no nuts. That's Hazelnut. a flavoring. It's a flavoring. 
Yeah, well, yeah, it's crazy. It doesn't have chunks. It doesn't have chunks. We've talked about. Yeah. We've talked about this before. I my favorite thing is a Reese's cup, and I so I like peanut butter and chocolate. Mm. I don't like nuts and chocolate. Mm. Crunchy, it's more yeah. the texture than. It's more the texture. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I remember this. And I said, "What about payday?" And you were like, "God, no, it's the worst." <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love paydays. Oh yeah. Although I uh, ironically I kind of like the ones that have rice krispies in them. Uh, the whatchamacallits? And well, the, uh, and like that's, the that's crunch and, yeah. if it has a if it has a crispy in it, I'm okay. But that is somehow different from a nut. I can't it explain is. it. It's different. Thank you, Sean. It's- Different from a nut. <laughs> Jesus, you guys have the same palate. It's impressive. <laughs> really do. Well, I don't like cock nearly as much as Matt does. Okay. But... Well, so it's not that's, a perfect match. That's yeah. where we dis- you haven't tried it, Sean. <laughs> that's enough true. You know, that's Sean. True. You have that's one true. little. You have yeah. one little nitpick for why we can't be together, and that's <laughs> the one you yeah. pick. All right. You know, <laughs> if only we both liked cock, we <laughs> <laughs> could have been a match made in heaven. Have yeah. you tried it lately, though? Yeah, it's so much. The new flavor, it's, new cock, is so much better really, than classic. It's cock. a lot better than it used to be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they changed the formula. When... Wait till you try Cool Ranch cock. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. I'm waiting for the nacho cheese cock yeah. to come out. It's coming up. Stay away from the boba flavor one, though. You won't like that. It's got chunks in this. Yeah, she's just- <laughs> you really won't like the boba flavor. Yeah. You could choke on it at any moment. Yeah. Sometimes oh, wow. when you're sucking on the cock, the bobas come right out, and those are the balls. But This uh-huh. has been a lot of fun. <laughs> hey, did you guys know that vacuum cleaners don't have to make noise what? and they add the noise in because when they made noiseless vacuum cleaners people did not believe that they were working because they need the sound to believe that it's working wow so you could have a noiseless vacuum cleaner but people won't have it people don't like it i think it's time to try them again i think it's i feel like you would hear the stuff getting pulled in I feel like it's time to try it again because I'm always annoyed Wait. now by like people vacuuming next door. I'm like, yeah, no, Ugh. no kidding. Don't you guys have Dysons? Uh, anyone? Uh, d- d- does the Dyson Noise. is that noiseless? No, no, they're not it's noiseless. A, it's oh. deafening. <laughs> <laughs> it's worse than other. It's like a freaking noise. turbine. They have, they have an amplifier inside. I think of they them, made it least. ten decibels louder than they needed they're to, like, just to prove a point. The yeah, Harley Davidson. Of fans, I like uh, this episode because they they kind of hint at the fact that it might be a Wesley saves everything episode, but he totally doesn't. Okay. Well, that was actually something Sean mentioned to me. I was going to bring it up. Uh, it's a very Wesley heavy episode. Yeah, um, but so Jake, well, you're saying does... it, it's not a he is... saves the day episode. Why is he that does cool? start the. The protest, the 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 silent protest of the children. Yeah, to and, get them. And, I, and I I really like that because it seemed like something that maybe would be within the realm of what he could do. It doesn't like really save the day, but it. I, I thought it was a really interesting story beat. And he's and he kind of tries to explain to Picard at the end, like I think I figured out how the computer and stuff works. But Picard is like, oh, good job, but we got this. And like Riker and Data just teleport in and kind of do everything without his help. But I don't know. I just, it was interesting that the, he was like trying to do a thing, but it didn't. But you needed adults to come in and handle it. Yeah. yeah. He does handle the kids aspect of it, and he sort of puts the the people on the on the planet at un at you know they're at unease because they're not sure what to do with the kids now because they won't talk to them and they won't do anything that they ask them to do now, yeah. which sort of they won't eat. They're refusing to eat. They've got well, a hunger strike. I said that I was going to be a generous grader when it came to the subject of 
Wesley saving the day episodes. Mm. So I think I'm going to call this one as a yes, because yeah. All right. it's so it's it's such a Wesley episode that it even if it isn't a Wesley saves the day episode, it still kind of is. Yeah, he's the driver I mean, of the he's the driver what? of the plot. Right. Yep. Yep. Pretty I'm much. Call it a yes. Yeah. Which means that we've had five. That was number five. And this is episode 16. 16. Sean? Yep. So 33%. So it's a, wow. it's a third. That's quite a bit yep. for a, yep. a brand new television show. Honestly, as soon as I figured out that this was going to be a like kids episode, I started having and the children shall lead flashbacks. And I was like, oh, <laughs> God. And so this episode in my mind just got a huge bump for being pretty decent. And so I was like, "Hey, it's it's a good episode." Because it's not as bad as that one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was not as bad as the one you watched last week. That's so right. It was, exactly. it is, and it, that is true as well. That probably helped you like this one more too. Because I don't actually remember a lot of episodes we watched of the original series, except for the really bad ones, because they were so bad that. Mm. And the children shall lead was one of those ones I actually kind of remember. I think it's one of those things. Most TV shows are like this, where you rem- it, it's just it all kind of it kind of fades away with memory. So it's like you remember the ten percent that are great, and you remember the ten percent that are terrible, and it's yeah. just it's like a a bell curve, and the vast majority is in the middle, and they're just sort of bland forgettable. and forgettable. Yeah, mm. yeah. You kind of remember things that are like the extremes. Yeah. yeah. It's why people remember going to see the room. Speaking of, you know, <laughs> Tommy, our pal, Tommy. Yeah. Did you guys, did you guys go see it in the theater? No, I have I, never no. seen it. I did. Yeah. Back when they really? were showing the it at the, um, at the sunset five, that movie theater that's right there on the corner sure. of, uh, sense of Santa Monica and um, San Vicente. Sun, sunset, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Sunset and San Vicente. Sorry. Um, where the Virgin Megastore used to be in West right. Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Carissa and Marco and I went and saw it one night at midnight. <laughs> they loved that. They would go all the time. Yeah. I had never seen it, but they had both they had both been to see it like multiple times. And they were like, you have to come go to this movie with us. You'll have an amazing time. And so I just went just to go like I didn't know what it was, really. Um, Did you enjoy it? Did you have a fun? Time? Yeah, it was hilarious. We had a blast. He was there. He was out in the <laughs> lobby after the movie, like shaking hands and taking pictures with people. Soaking it up. And it was, you know, there was a. There was a sushi restaurant right there, so we went and had a couple of drinks and some food, and then we went in at midnight and saw the movie, and yeah, it was a blast. It was a great night. It's one of those fun Hollywoody things to do, you know, go and see something at midnight and not get out until 2.30. And, you know, Were like, there a lot of people who were like, I had a real evening tonight, <laughs> you know? Oh, were there a lot of people who were in that show, Matt? What do you mean? In uh, the th- oh, in the theater? Yeah, it was yeah, full. Yeah. It was sold out. Oh, my God. They had bought wow. the tickets like Way weeks in hand. advance. Yeah. yeah. It was one of those things where it, he owned, it was like Wednesday night at midnight. You know, mm. it was like one of those things where it was like once a week. Yeah. And, and, so you couldn't just go and see it whenever you wanted to. Mm-hmm. You had to go to like a showing specifically. Mm-hmm. Philippe, did you guys, did you see it? No, I've seen about a third or half of it on various like YouTube clips and stuff, <laughs> but I've never yeah. seen it. And I never saw the movie they made based on it either, though. I kind of want to see. The Disaster the Artist. Franco. Disaster yeah. artist. I didn't either, but I did. I did read the book that the guy wrote about the experience of working on that movie. That they based that they based the disaster artist on the book that the guy wrote. Yeah, okay. about what it was like to be in that movie. Is it book, enjoyable? Yeah, it was really funny. I mean, it was very like 
this was a fucking insane thing that I was involved in. And yeah, Tommy's a maniac. And, you know, so it was fun. You know, it was a funny book to read. Yeah, it's like a funny movie is only fun if you're in a gigantic crowd drunk. You know, it's, yeah. it's Rocky Horror. Yeah. It's only fun if you're in a big group. Otherwise, it's skippable. I think. I I actually watched it with uh not in a big theater and I I thought it was pretty funny and schlocky and I I had a good time with it I I yeah I enjoyed it it was pretty ridiculous. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, everybody likes what so. they like. <laughs> mm-hmm. Min's never seen Casablanca, but he has yeah. seen The Room. There yeah. you go. I got to yeah. get the masterpieces in. Yeah. I don't yeah. think I've ever seen a uh, what's that Rose G- Citizen Kane either. It's mm, great movie. Mm, that's what they say. That is. Mm. <laughs> They're not wrong. I mean, it's like it's legitimately like a good movie, and it's not nearly as stodgy as I think you you would yeah. think yeah. it would be. It's, yeah. we've had we've well, had this conversation yeah. actually on this podcast before. Yeah, I know. I think <laughs> the it's last just time a, we, <laughs> the last time we talked about Casablanca, yeah. Aaron had just watched it because it had been on Turner Classic Movies, yeah. and we were trying to convince men that he would like it because men has the a sort of thing that I think a lot of people have where you think that old movies Mm -hmm. are going to be uh, boring and slow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The good ones are actually amazing. You know, Citizen Kane is a, is hilarious. It's a, it's a, yeah. It's a delightful movie to watch. Yeah. It's not boring. It does. It's not as stuffy as, I mean, people who like, I don't know. It has this reputation of well, being like studied. A, and, it's on a list, you know. Yeah. It's number one. And all that stuff. <laughs> yes. But it's like it's a, just a good movie, you know. What I what's interesting about movies back then is they wrote them like TV shows. It's like they had to like mass produce movies. Like they shot them in a month, and yeah, they people movie stars made like five movies a year. Yeah. The, so, when I the first time I saw Citizen Kane was in was freshman year at UCLA. I took one of I took that like intro to film class, like overview of American film or whatever it's called. And when they showed Citizen Kane, I was like, "Ugh, this is gonna <laughs> suck. you know." Like I was like, "Oh, this is the greatest movie ever made," which means it's about Russian potato farmers or something, you know, like. <laughs> Yeah. It just sounded terrible. And then I was, by the end, I, I was like, I was delighted. I was like, oh, that's the greatest movie ever made. That's why they call it that. Yeah. They I became a convert. Yeah. Watch it's Citizen funny. Kane. And I felt the same way. Like, I just thought I wasn't going to like it. And then I watched it and I was like, oh, that was really good and smart. <laughs> and just, yeah, not what I thought it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it's and he was like, like, like 24 like, when he made it, you know, it's, which yeah. is crazy. He was, it's insane. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, did we reach the end of the episode? I, it back. I was, yeah, that was like did. the, that was like the Citizen Kane of episodes. Right there. <laughs> Aaron, did you notice how she was uh, manhandling her pet? I did. I thought there was a <laughs> she, She's been she left it stuck to the back of, of John Luke. Car. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, uh, Aaron did say she was going to knock out, so. Yeah, she sort of started drifting there at the end. Mm-hmm. It's all good. <laughs> all good. It's That's a how I roll. Yeah. When we weren't having that riveting Chex Mix conversation, <laughs> yeah. Aaron was <laughs> out hey. after that. <laughs> hey, fuck you. I killed 20 <laughs> minutes with Chex Mix Talk. <laughs> That was good. That episode. That, that was that the most awake Aaron needed, was. <laughs> that episode needed 20 minutes of Chex Mix talk. So yeah. you're welcome. I know what Phil, I'm doing. Phil, here. Phil. What the hell else are you going to talk about? What's happening on screen? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your service, Matt. It's really greatly appreciated. Yeah. Recommendation corner. Anybody? Anybody have any recommendations they want to make this week? Did- I already recommend watching Michelle Obama's thing on Netflix based on her book. 
Hmm. Uh, no, but oh, that's yeah. a classy way to start. Sure. Becoming. Becoming, yeah. And if you haven't read the book, I recommend that as well. Oh, everybody here's read it. <laughs> I listened to I listened to her. She was on Conan O'Brien's podcast. I listened to that interview. Uh-huh. So I kind of feel like I read the book. <laughs> it's still worth reading. <laughs> if you're interested. I can feel Conan nodding his head inside his brain. I, I do appreciate like how they're they are still trying to be great role models for people all around them, you know, yeah. uh, unlike other other people. Yeah. Um. So that that is it's very uplifting, inspiring, but mm-hmm. it's also real too. It's not. Mm. They're both excellent tweeters. Superficial lifting. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. They tweet really excellent. It tweets. comes from a real place, like. A grounded place, I should say. Where you're just like, oh, that's what it's like to have a normal person <laughs> in yeah. charge. Yeah. Like, well, and yeah. I like her childhood stuff in Chicago. She writes about that and the way her neighborhood changed and her family life. It's all really just all of it's very well done. So but the but the Netflix touches on a lot of it, but but the book is I knew the book was gonna be good, but it exceeded my expectations. So Anyway, I enjoyed that. Excellent, excellent recommendation. Would you say that was better than the other Missy, though? Or the wrong Missy? Oh, we watched the wrong Missy today. The David Spade flick on Netflix. How was that? How was that? Funny. The the woman (laughs) who plays opposite of him is is a character that I've never seen before, really. She's wacky in a way that's kind of refreshing and not just... Sometimes when they make a wacky woman, they're so over the top. I mean, she's over the top, but how do I describe it? Sometimes it's like so male oriented that the over the top woman is just so cringy that you can't even like enjoy her. I don't know how to say it, but like the joke's always on her. But this is, I think, a little more interesting than that. She's she's quite funny. (laughs) That's uh, I think that's Lauren Lapkus. She's okay. uh, improv person okay she's familiar but i hadn't i didn't know her name but i thought she was she was in jurassic world she was like one of the people in the in the conference command center yeah she's the one that uh the guy from the new girl hits on the whole time yeah jake johnson yeah jake johnson yeah it's good stuff Anyway, it's fun. Okay. It's the David Spade flick. Very different recommendation, but if you're looking for a laugh, it's good. A we're, on a real, we're on a real roller coaster right now. <laughs> Who's got the next one? There's a new Comedies animated there's a new animated musical show on Apple TV called Central Park. Oh, I've heard about this. The first couple you got Josh Gad, Leslie Oldham Jr., Davi Diggs, Kristen Bell, Katherine Hahn, Stanley Tucci, mm. and Titus Burgess. Uh, so good. It's good. 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 good song. You I, said it's I on like Apple. Apple TV, yeah. I can't handle another platform. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a great recommendation. Good. So now we're back up on an upswing, you guys. That was a good one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to recommend Joe Dirt. Hell oh, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> That's why I while, think he should play. While we're on the right. subject, <laughs> while we're on is there the a new one or Joe Dirt? <laughs> Joe Dirt's good. I have it on DVD. When it we get back good. together, we can watch it on the big screen. It's quirky. Well, good. start start thinking, kids, because we're only about. Mm, six or uh, seven there's, episodes. There's no thinking. We're watching Cruel Intentions. Oh, right. Yeah, oh, yeah. I want to see that. Getting, okay, yeah, we're getting that out of the way once and for all. Out of the way. Yeah. We're enjoying. You realize that. that once we start watching Cruel Intentions, we will never stop. Because <laughs> what? We're just gonna watch. Are we gonna watch this, yeah, all the sequels means. and the? We're, we're gonna become like that. The worst idea, worst yeah, idea. We're ever. just gonna watch, gonna watch it every week. Every yeah. week, we're That's gonna meet right. to watch yeah. Cruel Intentions cool and then do that. a podcast. We'll watch I'm it cool fifty-six weeks a year. If we have <laughs> yeah. <it. laughs> well, it is. It is my hope, and I'll hold my fingers crossed that the the first time we all record as a group again, 
we're watching Cruel Intentions. Well, that's yeah. definitely gonna like make it an incentive. See how it goes. Some people. Uh, that's like I would, five or I would, six weeks from now. So yeah. it's time. You know, that's some good amount of time. Hard to say what's gonna happen from day to day. <laughs> sure. it one day at a time. Yeah, I just days. said that's my wish. I'm not saying I, No, mine you know. too. I no, I I would love to. I good can't goal. wait to see it. It's good. it's nice to have something to look forward to. Yeah, Let's yeah. just keep it there as a cool a, idea. It's just a North thing, Star. Like, yeah. And then we'll save Joe Dirt for after season 2. It's cool. just weird that time has lost all yeah. meaning. All, <laughs> not all meaning. Cuz I'm just like I don't know. Like should I make plans for December? Yeah. Or or will I be living in a post-apocalyptic wasteland in December? <laughs> I genuinely don't know the answer. Uh, I, don't know. I don't think anybody knows. Yeah. The the answer to that question is yes and yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you should make plans for December. And yes, you'll also be living in a post-apocalyptic landscape. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, because by then the election will get in the way of your vacation Trump will plans. be president again, and Oof. we will just have to carry on. Hey, did we actually do the recommendations jingle, Jake? Did you play it? Um, maybe I can make play the jingle. No, play it now. Play it now. Recommendations. You just got recommended. Stevie Nicks's Fajita Roundup, the greatest sketch in Saturday Night Live yeah. history. This came up on Twitter the other day. Have any of you are you guys have you guys seen Stevie Nicks no. Fajita Roundup? I've no. seen it. I I did question your whether that was the greatest Saturday Night Live sketch so ever. So funny. It's Lucy Lawless playing Stevie Nicks. Uh doing a, a fake commercial for the Tex-Mex restaurant that she's opened in Sedona, Arizona. <laughs> and and uh, it's very, very funny. Oh, <laughs> sounds good. I watched Fast and the Furious Hobbs and Shaw. Oh, yeah. How's that? <laughs> I watched it because on uh, Memorial Day, because it was uh, like, normally I would be seeing a big, dumb action movie right now, but I can't. Yeah. So I'll watch Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. That movie's great. That's yeah. great. <laughs> I like it. It's so a good. Much. It fits, it's fits my the, it's my youngest son's favorite movie of all time. I mean, I get it. <laughs> I get it. It's it's really fun. It was just I was hesitant because it's like two hours and twenty five minutes, which normally is a That's deal like breaker. The, the wrong Missy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it is not. No, as it is somehow Aaron's favorite joke since we started watching it that it's two and a half hours long. I don't know quite what the joke quite means exactly, but it's been uh, since this afternoon since we watched it. The time has it's I don't know. It's it's a meta because what David Spade movie is more than ninety minutes? Yeah, I know. right. Come on. If, if they the get to means? ninety minutes, I feel like yeah. David Spade movies are eighty-eight minutes. Perfect. Long. That's yeah, why thank God. Yeah. yeah, they don't I'm need to be longer. Rocky Romano. I also watched Spy after I watched uh, Hobbs and Shaw because I wanted another like big fun movie, and I watched Spy again. Everyone should watch Spy. I don't is that know that with is. The Rock? No. no, it's Melissa McCarthy is the uh, star of Spy. Right. I am no good at it. Jason Statham's in it, though, isn't he? Isn't he is, yeah. He's okay. like the James, he's like the dumb James Bond kind of character. Well, no, Jude Law is kind of the dumb James Bond character. But yes, they're both in it. That's yeah. it. I'm done. I feel like I've been rambling for 20 or 30 minutes now, which is just about right. That's just, Anybody that's else have anything they'd like to add? Nope. 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 Alright, close it up, Matt. Yeah. Thank you very much for listening to Warped. Uh, please remember to go to iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts to rate, review, and subscribe. You have some free time on your hands right now, so give mm -hmm. us a review. You can follow us on Instagram at Warped the Podcast. 
You can follow me. Well, you can follow the show at Warped Trek on Twitter. You can follow me at Host Warped. You can follow Min to learn about our Dungeons and Dragons and Call of Cthulhu podcasts and live streams at Wet Maynard. You can go to Instagram and search Lunar Flare for our T-shirt, which is very funny. You can go to patreon.com slash warped to become a subscriber and gain access to bonus episodes Mm -hmm. and additional content. Uh, Unless anyone else has anything else they'd like to add, my name is Sean. My name is Matt. I'm Jake. And I am Fast and Furious Presents Philippe. The box. (laughs) The mutual masturbator. Oh, it changed. Wait, it's mutual masturbator? The mutual (laughs) masturbator? It's the mutual of Omaha masturbator. That's a different thing. (laughs) And me, the May. Yeah. (laughs) Mutual. Wacky morning zoo. (laughs) Mutual is so much better than maniacal. (laughs) I I like it all. I'd much yeah. rather be friends with the mutual <laughs> masturbator <laughs> than the maniacal <laughs> masturbator. You I mean, need different I flavors. Choice. It seems like that's the right choice.